Hey guys, um, this video is not going to be for children. Children don't necessarily need to hear this. Um, so if you have a child, please listen to this later when they're not around or take them out of the room or distract them or whatever you got to do. Um, I want to do address an issue that God has asked me to address today. Um, on my last live, somebody said that I was a sorceress and I deserved to die. <laughs> People are so ignorant. Okay, so I used to be like that. I used to be very um, ignorant, really ignorant. Um, I, boy, was I the Bible thumper back in the day. Some of you guys knew me back then. I was like, if you do not follow God's word, then you're going to, you're in sin and you will be punished for all this other stuff, right? Here's the thing. <laughs> Here's the thing about being uh, religious, okay? First thing you should probably realize is religion was created by the dark cult, by Satan, okay? All religion was created by Satan, by the Masons by those who were seeking to cause division between people and make them hate each other and make them fight each other. So bravo, you've been programmed and mind controlled beautifully. You are the, the perfect, you are the perfect subject that you would pass their test with flying freaking colors. Any of you who are judging other people due to your religious beliefs or any of that, you know, you're on Satan's side. I'm sorry to have to tell you that you're on Satan's side. The Bible has been tainted. It has been totally messed with. A lot of it is very helpful and useful information and should be lived by. But I'll tell you one of those pieces of information that should be lived by is do not point to any kind of a splinter in somebody else's eye when you've got a freaking plank out your own and you're obviously mental, mentally ill to threaten somebody's life. You're insanely jealous. You're not living by your own code of ethics. You are not leave, living the Bible. You know, your own Bible that you swear is the thing. <laughs> You're not living by that because Jesus talks nonstop about non-judgment to love your neighbor as yourself. Okay. So you're being a total hypocrite and you need to deal with your jealousy. You need to deal with not getting your way. If you're Sabrina who lives in New York, New York, on a street that's between 45th Street and 49th Street, hi, <laughs> you're incredibly immature if that's what you were doing, because I know nobody else who would even act like that. So, gosh, wow, you're really up in your game. <laughs> that would be Dodger, you guys. That would be Dodger. So, I'm calling her out. Grow up, grow up. Anybody who is threatening anybody, just go to another channel. I'm not a sorceress. You guys are so silly if you're really actually believing all that programming. Good Lord. <laughs> and I have to warn you too, okay? I am doing God's work. The words that I speak are truth. To the best of my knowledge and within my own integrity, I speak the truth. And I seek to protect my audience. I am, I'm, I'm telling you guys what I know to be my deepest truths. And you know that I pray constantly. Show me the truth in all things. That is my major prayer and that's what I live by. And that's what I say. I speak the truth. Okay? To the best of my knowledge. To the best of my intuitive abilities and knowledge. My intuitive abilities, by the way, are my direct connection to God. Okay. <laughs> I do not ever, I do not condone any kind of black magic ever. So I'm not causing anybody any harm. I don't threaten people. I don't have to. I may cut somebody off. I, 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 that is like, that's the thing that I do if somebody's out of hand. I don't deal with negativity. If you have demons, you got to deal with those demons. 
Okay. If you're feeling anger or rage toward me, you're not really mad at me. You're mad at yourself. If each of us starts to look at ourselves and take responsibility for ourselves, that's when you get empowered. That's when you quit being so immature and picking on other people. Okay. If I have blocked you, there was a damn good reason for it. You showed an incredible amount of immaturity or you lashed out or you did something crazy and out of hand and I didn't want to deal with the negativity. And that is my right. I don't have to have a good valid reason. And if you're that angry that I kicked you off my channel, <laughs> you should be glad if you don't like me. Don't you think? Don't you think that's a little bit? What are you so mad about? <laughs> you know, what are you so mad about? It doesn't make any sense. Go pick on somebody else. Go watch a channel that you enjoy. And if you would attack me, you're obviously proving my point. You're a negative person. You're an incredibly negative person with total victim mentality. And I feel so sorry for you. But you're not going to affect me. You know why? Because I'm doing God's work. I am a light worker. God loves me. And God, G-O-D, is group of deities. All of those beings on the other side that most people can't see. They love me. They protect me fiercely. Anybody who tries to attack me and that somebody might be in Romania with demons, I don't know. I don't know who this person was. They were disguising themselves. So <laughs> no matter who this was, Go work on yourself. Go pick on yourself. And I don't mean judge yourself either. I mean, go examine why you believe what you do. Go examine and take a look at yourself and why you are so angry. Take a good look. I have the right to kick you off my channel if you're acting crazy. Okay? Or if you're acting unreasonable or if I just don't like you anymore I have every right if I see that you've got pink hair today and I don't like it I can kick you off my channel <laughs> who cares why would you take it personally you know if I did something wrong and I did that you know in your eyes then you can be like well what the hell's wrong with Amy she's got an attitude problem I'm gonna go watch somebody else she was getting on my nerves anyway you know, everybody's got free will. They can do whatever they want to. There's no reason that you should still be watching me if you can't stand me. That just makes no sense. Why would you be torturing yourself? Why would you be watching somebody that makes you unhappy? Shoot, feel, feel good, like starts calling everybody Care Bears. And I was freaking out of there. I was like, you're not going to call me a stupid Care Bear. I'm not a freaking Care Bear. What the hell? I was so insulted. I'm just like, no, I'm not even going to watch him anymore. Forget it. I can't even know. No, <laughs> if I can do that, you can do that, okay? I will be praying for you. I will be praying for whoever, <laughs> whoever thinks that I should die because I'm a kind, loving person who cares for her people. I feel, I feel really terrible for you, really terrible. And you know what? I feel, I feel worse for you, too, knowing what God's going to do to you as a result. I would never do it. I don't do black magic. I don't, I don't wish ill on anybody, <laughs> but I know how protective God is of me. You really don't want to feel that. You really don't want to go through that. If you think you got demons now, you better watch out. You better watch out. If you ever come after somebody with a kind heart who's doing God's good work, it, you don't want to mess with people like me. You really don't want to do that. We have a whole league of dragons and angels and everything you can imagine out there protecting us, looking after us. Because we are here to change the world. We are here to support human being sovereignty and freedom. We are here to preach and teach 
personal responsibility and love, loving unconditionally, enduring this love path that is so gruelingly hard. (laughs) We are the warriors. We are love warriors. Do not mess with me or anybody like me who is trying to spread their light with kindness and compassion and love. Just don't do it. Or do it and pay the consequences. And again, not by me, but by God itself. It does not tolerate that kind of nonsense. If you have an attitude with something that I've done, you can email me. You can apologize. You can try to make amends. You can, you know, you can do you. There are things that you can do if you really want back into onto my channel. If you really so badly want to watch my videos that you would threaten my life. (laughs) Gosh, (laughs) how ridiculous can you be? How ridiculous can you be? You know, and I had an ex-boyfriend and he found out what I was taught. Some of the things I was talking about on my channel. Oh my gosh, Amy. If you start talking about stuff like that, someone's going to kill you. And I just busted out laughing and I was like, do I want to live in a world where we're prisoners, where where we've been taken over by these horrible bullying tyrants? Hell no. I'm going to fight tooth and nail. I'm going to get them on camera doing it. I'm going to do whatever I can to protect you guys. I don't want to live in a world like that. We are not going to have our freedom taken away as long as I have anything to do with it. And I'm not going to sit there and be all, oh, uh and be all passive about it. Something I feel very passionate about. I want to save all those freaking children, guys. They're being tortured because you guys are going along with the getting the V's and everything. For every one of you who've gotten those shots, under like believing what the news is saying, for one, that's insane. And for two, if you're doing that, you're killing all these children. Innocent children are dying because you did that. My gosh, you want to talk about selfish? Good Lord, do your research. And stop listening to the news. They're completely brainwashing you. If you're believing, in, if you're scared of any kind of a sickness, you're getting scammed. You're getting scammed. You're falling for it. And I tried to protect you and you didn't listen. I don't even know what to say to that. I tried having your back. So, And if you're somebody like me who's being threatened, don't you listen to it for a minute. You just keep shining your light. Go down fighting. If you're going to go down, go down in glory. Don't give in to these bullies. It's such bullshit. And these guys are so insecure. Oh, I'm going to hide behind a name. I'm not even going to show my real name. I'm just going to. So I can just go attack her and make her feel really bad and bring her vibration down. (laughs) Yeah. Good job. Good job. You are backing up Satan. You're backing up the dark cult. You're killing all these children. That's what you're doing by believing all of that and believing in division and attacking each other. Is that who you want to stand behind? You want to stand behind the dark side? Because the dark side will pretend to be on your side. It does not have your back. When push comes to shove, you're going to die like everybody else. You're not going to be protected? Please. The dark side's never got your back. They can talk the game. They talk a real good game. They will never have your back. God is the only one that you should be standing behind. God is the master. God is all about love and compassion. The God with a capital G anyway. Learn some things about religion. Look into it and don't do it on Google or YouTube because those guys are lying to you and censoring everything, turning everything around, making truth into lies. Go to B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E. That's the place to find some truth. And there's brand new tube and huge tube, U-G-E-T-U-B-E. 
there are so many places you got. Don't be lazy. Don't be lazy and look in the typical places. Go to, you got to look for it. You really got to look for the truth. And one of the channels that you could look for the truth on is probably Alexandra. She tells you all about scripture in the Bible and how religion was, there's a really incredible video called uh, An Inconvenient Truth. Watch that video. Everybody who's watching this right now, please watch that video. You need to know that information. It is ironclad and she is biblically based. I can't back her up on everything she says because she's wrong about some things. She's got a lot right though. She really has a lot right. So please watch that. We have to start getting educated on the truth in our society, you guys. And I used to be one of those Bible thumpers. I used to be, oh man, I would get so angry at people. But, you know, once I started to grow up, I was like, I'm mad at me. So I'm mad at, what am I pointing to somebody else for? I am that somebody else. You are everyone. You are with everyone. You are one with everyone. There is no division between us except what we create in our minds. There's no race difference. There's no nationality difference. There's, there really is no difference between any of us. We all hug. We all fart. We all smile. We all laugh. We all go to the bathroom. You know, the only division that's been there all along is wicked, wicked people, not somebody kind-hearted like me, but actual wicked, evil people who are trying to ruin our world. And they're going down fighting at least the month of August. I've been through it all. I have been through it all. And I've been through about every attack there's been. You guys know that I just went through a a period of feeling like I was Job for a moment. But God did it to show me just how loved and protected I am. And he's going to show me in this situation as well. So you better buckle up. I may not hear about it, but I'll be shown intuitively the consequences that you paid for attacking me like that. Anybody thinking of attacking me like that? I wouldn't do it. I would not do it. You don't want to mess with God. God is all powerful and he protects those who are doing his work. He loves me. I am one with God. We are besties. All right? If you're angry at me, if you're pissed off at me, if you can't stand me, if you're so jealous, if you feel competitive, any of it, talk to me. Try to heal it. Work on yourself. Work on yourself. If each and every one of us, instead of pointing at anybody else, saying every, somebody else is doing this and doing that and acting like that, and please, <laughs> who are you? Who do you think you are? You're the judge of everybody? Do you know that person's life? Do you know the way they're living? Do you know the stuff they've been through? You guys know who my masculine is? You think that was easy? Do you think that was easy? Oh, my God. It's been hell. I've hated it. I've hated him. No, it's not been a freaking walk in the park at all. If we make it to the finish line, man, And that's why so many forces are trying to stop it. Something that powerful. I've been refined. I've been refined by the fires. I can withstand anything. But God will not make me go through anything. He's going to take care of people who are attacking me. So you really don't want that. (laughs) You really don't. So go have a good laugh. Get it out of your system. And then go do some Byron Katie and work on yourself. Work on those thoughts. Get help. Get some mental help. Go, Go to a psychologist or psychiatrist. And shame on you. 
We shouldn't be turning on each other. We should be there for each other right now. We should be supporting it. We're going through the worst time in our history. We're going through the biggest spiritual battle ever known. You are choosing by your actions, your words, and your deeds what side you're on. You guys better get brave. You better get bold. And you better get courageous and fast. Or are you going to be sucked down on the quicksand of the dark side? Okay? Snap out of it. Grow up. Don't be attacking anybody. Don't take the energy from me and go start attacking someone else. Look at yourself. If you've got demons, get somebody, pay somebody or whatever to come to your home and do a clearing. Get those demons out of you or whatever. If you're mind controlled, that's what happens when you take the V. They can make you think things. They can torture and torment you and make you do things against your will. That you'll wake up and go, oh my God, did I do that? Yeah. So, (laughs) I hope you've heard me. Whoever did that, I hope you've heard me. I hope it hit you. And I hope it hit you hard. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to anybody else. And and you've been adequately warned. Anyone who's even thinking about doing that. All right. And if you want to make amends with me, if you've stolen from me and are lying about it, you better come clean. If you've taken from me in any way, or if you've lied to me, you better make it right. Because going through this lion's gate and the energies right now, they are forcing your hand. They will put you through things to make you realize what you've done. This is the time to unconditionally love and make amends for the things you've done. Okay? All right. I'm not going to go on and on about this. I just wanted to make a public statement that you should never threaten somebody's life. And it's incredibly immature to do so. And you don't know what you're talking about if you think you're standing behind the Bible or God. If you're threatening people, that's ridiculous. You need to go back and read the Bible again. And you need to take the pieces out that support you in being a kind and loving person. Because that's what it really should be about. You know, the other parts that were thrown in there. <clears throat> yeah. Again, you're just listening to Satan. The real God, the real Yeshua. They're not about that. They're just not about that. You wonder why there's a contradiction between the Old Testament and the New Testament? Take a guess. And go back and learn your history about the Bible. Don't be ignorant. There are going to be a lot of subjects going forward into the new earth you guys have to open your minds and open your hearts about, okay? All right. Hang in there, and if you need me, reach out to me. All right? Okay. Okay. Have a good one.